When it comes to diabetes management, picking the right foods is essential. Eat the wrong things and your blood sugar levels will skyrocket. Eat the right foods and your levels will stay on track. So no need to wait, let's dive into foods that are the best and worst for diabetes. Before we start, my name is Tara and I'm here to answer all your questions about diabetes and nutrition. I'll try to make it as easy as possible for you. So let's get started. Okay, first, let's start with the worst foods for diabetes. The number one food on the list you should definitely eliminate from your diet is added sugars. That's a really broad food group that can be quite tricky, right? It's because added sugar is basically everywhere. Soft drinks, juices, granola bars, candies, sauces, salad dressings, cereals, and even in some yogurt. That's why I recommend paying extra attention to food labels when buying the product. Sugar has a lot of sneaky names that food manufacturers use. Okay, to make it easier for you, here is the list of sugar names that can appear in the ingredient list on packaged foods. Some food manufacturers will even use a couple of different kinds of sugar in a product, so it will have less of each kind. They usually list those sugary ingredients at the very bottom of the ingredient list, so always pay close attention to food labels. Also, if you wanna reduce added sugars in your diet, replace processed foods with whole foods, such as fruits and vegetables. The number two on our worst foods list are refined carbs. These are also known as processed carbs. What you need to know is that they are stripped of basically all fiber, vitamins, and minerals, which means refined carbs are often considered empty calories. They're also digested quickly, which means they lead to rapid spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels after meals. The main dietary sources of refined carbs are white flour, white bread, white rice, pastries, pasta, sweet desserts, and breakfast cereals. But keep in mind that not all carbs are equal. For example, fiber is a good carb and is highly recommended by the American Diabetes Association as a healthy part of the diet for diabetics. Before you continue, don't forget to subscribe to the Clinio channel so you don't miss out on future diabetes management videos. Also, check the link below this video for a 60 second quiz to evaluate your diabetes health state. Okay, now let's get going. The number three foods you should avoid are fried foods. Okay, probably most of you have a weakness for fast food, such as fried chicken, french fries, potato chips, donuts. No matter how good they taste, it should be a huge no-no for people with diabetes. Not only do fried foods soak up tons of oil, they also cause blood sugar chaos, leaving it high over a long period of time. To put it simply, fat takes a longer time to digest, so it keeps blood sugar elevated. I recommend finding new ways to prepare fried foods, such as grilling or baking. For example, I make baked fries in my oven and they taste so crispy, you'd think they were fried. So you get the drill, right? Okay, so you should avoid added sugars, refined carbs, and fried foods, or at the very least, minimize your daily consumption. Now it's about time to head to the good part, foods that are best for diabetes. The number one food on the list is leafy greens. These are packed with vitamins A, C, E, and K, as well as minerals such as iron, calcium, and potassium. So leafy greens are a powerful nutritional punch while being low in sodium, carbs, and cholesterol. This means they can be incorporated into numerous diets, including those for people with health problems like diabetes. If you don't know what vegetables fall under leafy greens category, check out this list and take a screenshot of it. Try to incorporate these veggies into your diet by adding them to some of your favorite dishes, such as salad, soups, or stews. The number two best food for diabetes is fish high in omega-3 fatty acids, or to put it simply, fatty fish. Omega-3 fats may help the risk of heart disease and inflammation that are common in diabetes. The American Diabetes Association recommends eating fish, mainly fatty fish, twice per week for people with diabetes. Which fish should you include in your diet? Well, salmon is the best known in this category, of course. Other options are trout, albacore tuna, mackerel, or sardines. Choose fish that is baked or grilled, add some nice leafy green salad on the side, and you'll have a proper and most importantly healthy meal. Now let's head to the third best food on the list, which is nuts. Okay guys, if you're looking for a satisfying diabetes friendly snack, it's hard to beat nuts. It's because they are the total super package, low in carbs, high in protein, fiber, and healthy fat. 
What's more, nuts create a great feeling of fullness, which will help manage food cravings during the day. The best option should be walnuts, almonds, peanuts, or pistachios. However, there are two things to be aware of. Firstly, nuts are high in calories, so portion control is key. Experts suggest measuring out one ounce of nuts. Secondly, avoid nuts that are coated in salt or sugar, and instead try dry roasted or raw nuts, which are healthy and really flavorful. That's it for today. Don't forget to click on the next video, top five hacks to make eating with diabetes easier. Also check out how to create a meal plan when you have diabetes. See you next time.